Uh, let's check in with Dr. Manny Alvarez, Senior Managing Editor at FoxNewsHealth.com, a medical A-teamer as well. Can the flu uh, take down a person 57 in reasonably good health? Dr. Absolutely, Manny? absolutely. Thousands of people die every year from the flu, and this is the reason that we tell people to be very careful uh, in trying to get that flu shot. Now, we don't know if he got it or not, uh, especially this year the flu vaccine was very effective. Now, we don't know a lot about his medical history, but what we can tell you is there are reports that he suffered from epilepsy. Um, uh, we're not sure about that, but there's some reports to that effect, so he might have some underlying chronic medical diseases that we don't know about. But somebody who's battling the flu um, and now who is going and working very hard as, as he was, again, yeah. you don't know if, if the flu turned into a, a pneumonia, uh, and this is very typical of uh, some of the flu-like symptoms that evolve into a pneumonia, and that, of course, uh, leads to, you know, body shot down, respiratory failure, and this could ultimately end up in death. Are there other conditions that can mask themselves at the flu, that, as of the flu, that might have been responsible here? Well, listen, at, at his age, even though, uh, you know, he looked like a very fit individual that, that was not overweight and things like that, you can never rule out a cardiovascular accident. Uh, uh, this is, you know, like an MI, uh, myocardial infarction, or things of this sort. So the autopsy is going to reveal all that. But just by the mere fact that he was fighting the flu, for several days and then he had this huge concert the night before this really can do a number you know uh, in an individual no matter how old you are but especially at his age uh, and if he happened to have uh, any kind of underlying medical problem this can really turn into a very serious event well I'm, it, it, apparently it did again we don't know that it was the flu it will take some time but uh, we are told from the people around him that he had symptoms of the flu and and had to um, uh, mm -hmm. take some time off because of it. Yeah, and certainly it could have been run down as well if he's t uh, on tour as he was in Atlanta and flying around everywhere. And then our, our local reports are that he attended some sort of a party at his own complex. So that could have potentially, doctor, just exacerbated the uh, health problems that he may have been experiencing. Listen, in my years of experience, I have seen somebody get the flu and within 24 hours they are dead. That is how bad sometimes the flu can be. Even in a young person. Uh, even in a young person. Uh, this is something, that, you know, especially if they have underlying problems. Uh, I have seen a flu 24, 48 hours become deadly. Hard to believe when you watch these videos of Prince Rogers Nelson, when you see, you know, the choreography, how, how hard he could dance, how much, you know, how nimble. Uh, and apparently in shape he was. It's hard to believe. And uh, the energy that he put into those shows, yeah. unbelievable, whether it's today or whether it was 30 years ago. 57 years old, semi, seven Grammy Awards. He performed at Super Bowl back in 2007 and sold more than 100 million albums. Stunning news.